Travis, uh, third straight week leading the team in tackles. What's been going right for these past two weeks? Uh, I think you got to credit the guys that are playing with me. They're keeping their gap strong, taking up blockers, and it's just freeing me up to make plays. And then also just uh, my coaches just put me in the right spot so I can make those plays. So I, I missed two tackles a day. That's something I'm definitely going to have to go back, clean up. But I'm um, just excited that the team got the win and just really looking forward to get back to work uh, for next week. Travis, with McGee out and several cornerbacks out, what was your mentality going into this, this big opportunity to start? Yeah, I think we've preached all year just that next man up, and I think Coach Fitz has just done a great job of doing that. And so uh, I think uh, when Jared went down, I think it was just my time to step up. I've been preparing all year through my injuries as well, and I knew that I could get the job done. And hopefully we'll get Jared back soon, and we'll just keep that competitive depth and keep this thing rolling in the right direction. For other player, Coach used the word, I think, pissed off a couple of times. Talk about the lack of respect you guys were getting coming into this game. Can you guys expound on that? Yeah, that's just how it is every week, and that's how we want it to be every week. You know, that <clears throat> that fuels us, and I love it, man. Bring it on. I love it. Yeah, I think it just kind of fires us up, and like you said, we just we get ready. We, we put in the work every week, and we're going to go back. We're going to look at the film, see what we need to improve on, and then get right back to work and get this thing rolling. Did that lack of respect give you guys any extra motivation this week? Things people were saying, or the you know going from favorites to underdogs. Anything different this week in that regard? It's every week. I mean, we're underdogs every week, and really, I mean, we don't care. We're, we're fired up either way, and that's that's how it's been. That's how it's going to be for the rest of the time. Uh, what um, did did uh, Minnesota's offense do? You saw on tape, and how well do you think you uh, defended that overall? Yeah, I mean, I thought we defended well. We had a, you know, that one drive in the fourth quarter where they gashed us uh, a few times. You know, we just had one-man breakdowns that we needed to fix up. And uh, like Travis said, just get in the film room and fix those one-man breakdowns and, uh, you know, continue to be a disciplined defense. I think Minnesota was inside you guys 35 times. They only scored twice. Is there something different you guys are doing when they get inside mm -hmm. the 30? Or what's, what's going on there? Then don't break. Yeah, I think it's just that mentality that, we just gotta impose our will, and we gotta understand that we gotta we gotta hold these guys out of the end zone. We gotta do whatever that whatever that may take to to do so. What so. does Ben Dobrik mean? Like, what's what's changing when you guys are kind of backed up against your own end zone? I think it, I think it just kind of gives us that chip on our shoulder, knowing that we're kind of backed up, but knowing that we have the opportunity to make that stop. And so let, let's just go out and do it. We we know we're capable. We trust our coaches to get us in the right places, and really, then it just comes down to executing. Yeah. And I think that that's where we need to keep improving on as well. Anything else for Travis or Patty? Uh, the front seven, you guys had a lot of success getting to the quarterback today. Um, Morgan was under pressure a lot. You guys had a lot of big sacks. Was there anything different you guys were doing up front? Just playing relentless, you know, just playing with that chip on our shoulder, playing like champions, you know, that's what we've been preaching. So just backing our talk. <laughs>